And there's some new questions about the lakefront tonight after the Haslam's announced that they are moving out. It's a complicated situation and stadium or no stadium, the city of Cleveland says they're moving forward with development plans. Our Matt Rascone talked to the man overseeing those efforts. We've seen the renderings. We've heard the plans. World class cities have world class waterfronts. But what does the waterfront's future look like without the Brown Stadium? Without a stadium, there are new challenges that are presented, but there are also a lot of new opportunities. Scott Skinner is the executive director of the North Coast Waterfront Development Corporation, an independent nonprofit with one purpose. This has not slowed down the work that we're doing and will not slow down the development of the lakefront. The current master plan with the stadium is based on feedback from Cleveland residents. They want free public access to the water with green space and a place that will drive economic development. I don't think those priorities change without a stadium. It includes a land bridge connecting downtown to the water's edge. We were walking and we're like, how do, how do you even get over there? Something tourists we spoke to could get on board with. Got to be something they can build to make, uh, you know, people want to come to Cleveland. And for the first time, we've secured tens of millions of dollars in funding. Just this week, the U.S. Department of Transportation awarded the project $60 million in grant funds on top of $20 million from the state. Now our path ahead is clear. We will continue to execute our vision for the lakefront. When announcing the Haslam's decision to move, Mayor Bibb reiterated his commitment to transform the city's waterfront and make Cleveland a destination city. There is not a world in which we don't transform our lakefront into something that is vibrant and world class. And Skinner says with that move, they plan to go back to Cleveland residents in the coming months to see what people want in place of that stadium. Skinner says they hope to have shovels in the ground in 2027 uh, to start building the infrastructure they need to move forward on those plans. Guys. All right. Good to know, Matt. Thank you.